keeping with the S22 Ultra videos, I have another case for you. So let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome back to Michael's Tech Talk. So, keeping with the S22 Ultra videos, uh, I have another case that has been sent to me from the guys at Pataka. This is the Maggie Z Case 2 for the S22 Ultra. So, let's get a look at it. Pataka, first class with the packaging. I can't fault the packaging on this at all. The boxes are always impeccable. You always get the little uh, instructions here on the inside of the box to uh, tell you how to put a phone case on, in case you don't know how to do that. And then we have our case, which is pretty tasty. Look at that. I don't know, you might not love armoured fibre, but, but I do. I think it looks so awesome. Uh, we have a little brochure here then for other products, if you want to check that out. And, uh, oh, thank you. We're grateful for your order. No, thank you, Pataka. Uh, another big thank you. I am rocking the S22 Ultra. This is the uh, model with the 100% battery. You know, so it uh, this model constantly has 100% battery. It's better than every phone ever made, ever in the whole wide world. Let's get a look at it. So... As we can see, Pataka have uh, really took it upon themselves to go with the magnet layout that matches Apple's MagSafe, which uh, in my opinion is the way to go because uh, if it means then you're not pigeonholing yourself to accessories and if you're using an Android phone like a Samsung or any of the other cases that Pataka do, you can at least use a MagSafe accessories, which is pretty awesome. First off, we'll notice, due to the shape of the S22 Ultra, we do have pretty next to nothing down the sides here of this case uh, because of the curved display. Not much we can do with that, unfortunately, but unlike a lot of the other Maggie Z cases, the top and the bottom of the phones are completely covered, you know, whereas these are usually open on a lot of the Maggie Z cases, so it is what it is. The shape of the phone, there's not much you can do about it, but pop this in and see what it's like. So, first impressions, we have half of the body exposed on the phone with this case. The buttons are widely accessible, not a problem at all with that. The top of the phone and the bottom of the phone are completely protected. There's a little bit of a lip up over the uh, the bottom and top of the displays here, which is pretty good. Uh, again, it's not going to give you a massive amount of coverage, especially if you drop it face first. You're not going to get a lot of protection on the display there. But again, this case, that's not that that is about. You're about the minimalistic, the thin case. So you'll have full protection with the armored fiber on the back which is pretty resistant to scratches and if you drop it and stuff like that there. I have one of my iPhone 13 Pro Max and I've dropped it quite a few times and you wouldn't even know that it's been dropped. So it is good. The good thing about this is MagSafe compatibility. So I've got a MagSafe stand here. This is the stand from Anchor. Uh, I did a video on MagSafe accessories recently. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Uh, I'll leave it in the description below. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Let's get a look. Now, Pataka's magnets have been pretty famous for being a bit next level, to be honest. Um, I think in a couple of conversations, jokingly, I did say you could tow your car with a Pataka magnet. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're definitely keeping up their uh, magnet strength, so kudos for them for that. But again, <sighs> did, you see, did you see the spring of this when I pulled that off? Oh man, so again, as you would expect from a Pataka magnet. Now this is a dummy phone, but there is a fair bit of weight to it. And uh, obviously with this here, I'm giving this a good amount of force and it's not falling. Yeah, and then the phone, this is the weight of this stand. And this stand doesn't, you know, it's got a fair bit of weight to it. Which is, yeah, there we go. It took a lot of jolting there to get that off. Yeah. MagSafe compatibility, 
top notch. Uh, magnet strength, top notch. You are going to get a bit of weakness on the sides of the phone if you do drop it, but that's not what these cases are for. These cases are for the minimalistic, you know, lightweight look with the strength of the armored fiber. So it is what it is. You do get a trade off. What you do gain, you do gain the MagSafe accessory compatibility, which in my opinion is awesome because then you're not pigeonholing yourself to accessories. You can open that up. I mean, there's the ESR stand, puck charging puck, pretty good little option to have. There's the anchor battery pack, again, pretty awesome. Charge your phone, not a problem at all. Or if you want to do the ultimate troll, rock a Samsung, you can actually charge your phone with an Apple battery pack. Feel a bit dirty. You're not pigeonholing yourself now, so all the accessories that are maybe just exclusive to iPhone, you're now able to use them maybe on your Samsung with these cases. I like the I like that approach Pataka has done. Pataka has sort of went, you do you know what? We're not gonna pigeonhole people, put magnets into our phones. We might as well put it into the most popular layout and then we can utilize the best accessories. I love that approach from Pataka and top marks for that. What do you guys think of the Maggie Z2 case for the S22 Ultra? Let me know in the comments down below. Would you pick one of these up? Do you like thin fit cases or are you maybe a wee bit like me and sort of you need these edges to be protected? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. As well, I'd be keen to know, are you happy that this allows you to open the door for other accessories? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave you a link in the description below to Pataka's website for this. This is a great option to have, so by all means, uh, check that out down below if you're interested in picking one up. That'll be wraps it up for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, do those things for me. Hit the smash that like button for me. Massively appreciate it. And don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of new videos just like this one. Great. I'm going to follow up this video with a same case for the S22 Plus as well. So stay locked to the channel for that, guys. And uh, that will follow along with this video as well. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy it. And until the next one, I'll catch you later.